This is a special presentation from News Channel Nebraska. Well, good evening, Nebraska, and welcome on this election night. Uh, we wait the uh, uh, results that will be available at 10 o'clock Central, but unlike all the other news channels that you're going to come across on your dial tonight, we're going to be the most relaxing, the most fun, and the most positive. We call it Quarantine Tonight. It's Nebraska's nightly variety show brought to you by our friends at the University of Nebraska Medical Center. We appreciate them very much for their sponsorship and for making nights like this happen. And ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be one of the best nights that you're going to enjoy. We have found uh, the pride of the Sand Hills, who has relocated to Omaha. We've drawn her to this undisclosed location with a uh, great support cast and we offer you the Julie Baker Quartet tonight. So we'll get into that in just a second. A uh, couple of housekeeping items. We are going to be keeping an eye on the elections tonight. So during our breaks, we'll get you the latest uh, information as the Secretary of State and election commissioners across all 93 counties in Nebraska tally up the results from what may be one of the most voted in primaries in state history, thanks to so many Nebraskans that took the opportunity to send a mail in ballot, which speaks volumes about the health of our state and our people. So we will uh, get you those results as we go forward. Want to remind you that uh, bands like this tonight, we learn about them because of your letters, because you take the time to send us a note. Not only does the note keep us going, but more than that, it allows us to kind of start searching for uh, tomorrow night's band. And tonight we've got a really, really good one. And to top it off, we brought in one of our favorites, Pastor Ray Wilkie is here from Grace Lutheran Church in Norfolk, Nebraska. Pastor Ray Wilkie is also the president of the Orphan Grain Train uh, Corporation, which is a nonprofit corporation serving those that are hungry and uh, suffering disaster across the world. Pastor Wilkie, please join us tonight as he makes his way up here. Uh, we just want to say thank you to uh, him and all the pastors for taking time to start off each show the right way. And uh, Pastor Wilkie, you, you may not know it, but he's been actively engaged in the process of getting hand sanitizer uh, all over the state of Nebraska. In fact, when the coronavirus really crashed into our state, uh, he uh, and I ended up on the phone together shortly thereafter, and his mission wasn't getting ready for the Sunday sermon. It was figuring out where to find enough alcohol to make the good stuff. And you did. Boy, you went to the top. Where did you go to? Well, Bernie Reedy is really the guy that is the star performer on the alcohol. Oh, yeah. And so him and his wife, Carol, have, uh, have been yeoman in making this happen. So I take little credit. I haul back and forth from Osmond when I'm called upon. So but just so you know, Orphan Grain Train is headquartered in Norfolk, Nebraska, and it serves people across the globe, literally. Right. And uh, you know it's trying when two years in a row, first the floods and then coronavirus has kept you in your home state of Nebraska. Well, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of need, and the need around the world doesn't diminish because there's a flood in Nebraska. So... We're glad to do what we can, and there's plenty of support, and there's a lot of support coming in right now, so we've got enough funds to do some things. So where are some of the hot spots, not just in Nebraska and, you know, the world, or uh, in the United States, but in the world that Orphan Grain Train's paying attention to right well, now? Africa is always a tough target because there's, there's more stuff going there than is coming back, and so the shipping is sky high. Sure. And the overland in Africa is difficult. Some of the trucks I've met travel there at three miles an hour. You can walk faster than the truck goes. So if you look at the internal parts of, of Africa, you know the problem. Well, and you're worrying about different problems than me. I had to go to Hardington the other day uh, to see somebody, and you're talking about trucks in Africa. Well, there's so much need worldwide that this will never disappear. And... The Lord has instructed us, this is what we're to do. 
And what you're doing here is serving others, and these folks coming in, serving others, has been a home run. Thank you, Pastor. Very good. Let's pray tonight. All right, let's pray. This is based on Psalm 8. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You've set your glory above the heavens. Out of the mouth of babes and infants, you have ordained praise. When I look at the heavens, the work of your hands, the moon, the stars, which you have set in place, what is man that you are mindful of him, or the son of man that you care for him? You made him a little lower than the angels and crowned him with glory and honor. You've given him dominion over the works of your hands. You've put all things under his feet. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. Lord, is it at a time like this of modified seclusion and change in our normal pattern of relationships, help us to value more the ones closest to us, our family, our friends, those who continue to support us physically, emotionally, and spiritually. Help us to allow this time of distraction from normal to be a time when we once again have reason to focus on you and honor you for the magnificent world that you've created for us and for your having adopted us into your family. Give us time now, Lord, to look at the stars and for thanking you for hanging them out there for our pleasure of giving everyone a name at the time of their beginning. Allow us time now to look at the trees, the babies, the magic of ignition that happens every time a new seed sprouts in this springtime. Just because, because you love to nudge even dead looking things toward life. We ask that you nudge us toward life, Lord, toward lives filled with wonder and amazement at your creative and redemptive and sanctifying power. A life made marvelous now and a joy forever in your presence. Come, Lord Jesus. Amen. Thank you very much, Pastor Ray Wilkie, uh, Grace Lutheran Church. You see exactly why we invited him tonight, and when you see the talent we have, you'll see why we paired the two up. So thank you very much, Pastor Wilkie. We appreciate you coming here today and being part of our show. And do we have a show for you? I'm your host, Mike Flood, and tonight we welcome Julie Baker to the stage, who uh, comes to us from the Sand Hills of Nebraska. She comes to us from Erickson, living in Omaha. This is the Julie Baker Quartet. You look lovely tonight. Thank Welcome you. to the show. Thank it's you. nice to have someone from the Sand Hills with some sense around here. <laughs> well, I'd like to think I have some sense. Anyway. Let's just talk about this for a second. This is uh, going to be a great show, first of all, but tell us how you got started in the music business. Um, actually, I, I started because, you know, I have a very musical family. So from the time I was little, I was listening to my sister take voice lessons and my cousins all sang. And my, my mom was a piano teacher and my grandmother, who's actually from Norfolk, Lois Knutson, she was a piano teacher, and so I was surrounded by it, so I guess you could just say it, it happened from birth almost. Well, they heard something good in Erickson, and then you <laughs> met these wonderful folks, and yes. you put together this quartet. Now, how often do you perform? Um, you know, actually, we just kind of, I, I've performed with, with all of them in, in different um, in different realms, I guess, but this is a, kind of a new group that we've put together, actually. So normally we have the Julie Baker Jazz Ensemble, which is an eight-piece, but because of social distancing tonight, we have just the quartet. And so. you do a lot of big band work, too. Yes, yes. So I sing at the, um, well, it's Anthony Steakhouse, but at the Ozone Lounge. Sure. And uh, so once a month, um, the big band plays every Monday night. They rotate singers, and I'm there once a month with the Ozone Big Band. And, and it's we, an 18-piece band, and they're fantastic. And we have a priority viewer tonight. Uh, this gentleman is living in Martell, Nebraska. Now, yes. tell everybody th about this, because this is a great story. <laughs> All right. So my dad, um, I guess, watches this show every 
every night. And um, my sister, you know, when I said, hey, I'm going to be on the quarantine concert night, she's like, dad watches that every night because my father lives with my dad. So they weren't going to tell him I was going to be on. So this is a surprise for dad. So hi, dad. <laughs> Go, and hope Martell you're is south of Lincoln. Martell is south of Lincoln, that's right. So there's a big smile somewhere in uh, either Northern Gage or Southern Lancaster County yes. tonight on this election night. That's so right. we're not going to take any more time. Ladies and gentlemen, the Julie Baker Quartet, we're going to find out more about all these talented musicians. But first, the important stuff. Take it away. It's got me in its spell That old black magic That you weep so well Those icy fingers Up and down my spine The same old witchcraft When your eyes meet mine That same old tingle That I feel inside And when that elevator Starts his ride Done and down round I go like a leaf that's caught in a tide I should stay away but what can I do I hear your name and I'm a flame a flame with such a burning desire that only your kiss can put out the fire boy you are the lover I have waited for that old black magic or a burning desire that only your kiss can put out the fire for you are the lover I have waited on the maid that fate had me created for and every time your lips meet mine darling down and down I go round and round I go in a 
spin. I'm loving that spin I'm in. I'm out of that old black magic called love. All right, well, thank you so much, everyone, for inviting us into your homes this evening. Thank you for tuning in, for listening. We are just feel so very blessed to be here this evening with you. Uh, this has been a very challenging time for all of us. And so um, this song reminds us about things in life that are important. And what's important right now during this time is the love of our friends and of our family and of all the support that they give us to get us through this difficult time. So as you listen to us perform this song, Please uh, take in the lyrics, listen to what they're saying, and uh, this is from the musical Rent, and this is called Seasons of Love. in cups of coffee, in inches, in miles, in laughter, in strife, in 525,600 minutes. How do you measure a year and the life? How about Six hundred minutes, five hundred twenty five thousand journeys to plan, five hundred twenty five thousand six hundred minutes. How do you measure the life of a woman or a man? In truth, that she learned all the times that he cried. she died it's time now to sing out though the story never ends let's celebrate remember a year in the life of friends remember the All right, this next one is a Nora Jones tune that I think that you'll all enjoy called the Don't Know Why. so far. 
All right, this next one, before uh, we uh, take a little break, is one that I grew up with, one of my favorite songs. And my mother used to play this all throughout the house, this Glen Campbell album. And when I would go out with my dad to check the cattle, this one would come through the radio. So this is a song by Glen Campbell called Wichita Lineman. And also, just a little plug, that um, our quartet does have a video out there on Facebook with us doing this. So if you love hearing us do it tonight, you can go out online and watch us as well.
Wow, that was wonderful. On the way here tonight, I actually uh, listened to Glenn Campbell's Wichita County Lineland because I knew you were going to play that song. Oh, yes. I'd rather listen to your version than his. Oh, wow, that's I, saying a lot. I like that. <laughs> Glenn's I pretty like good. <laughs> I bet growing up in Erickson, Nebraska, in the Sand Hills, that was on the radio quite oh, a bit. Oh, absolutely, yes. And yes. we're already seeing just some of the feedback we're getting. You must have gone to Wheeler Central Schools. I did. I was a Bronco, which they don't exist anymore now. Well, your teachers are lining up on Facebook. <laughs> Facebook, so you, you better watch out. We're about to go through your transcript uh -oh, here. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I think I passed everything. I Steve think I Bohr there. must have been one yes, of the teachers. Well, he's yes. watching you in Seward tonight. Oh, my goodness. Hello, Mr. Bohr. Best PE teacher ever. That's good. <laughs> well, we're going to find out about all the folks in the Julie Baker Quartet. I just want to ask you a question. Uh, growing up in Erickson, you made your way to Omaha. You teach in a North Omaha middle school yes. uh, music, but you also perform quite a bit mm -hmm. and... Uh, Tell me what it's like to have that balance because you're busy doing a lot of different things. Yes, yes. Well, um, you know, I teach in a, in a school of 900 kids, and so I probably have 180 students of my own. So that alone keeps me busy. I have five of my own children and then performing on top of it. So, yeah, it keeps it keeps me very busy. Um, and, uh, we, you know, you just try to find that work-life balance. Which there can't be much work-life balance. Well, five <laughs> kids, uh, 900 students, well, 180 students. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, we appreciate you very much for taking the time to Thank be here you. tonight. It's great to be here. Tell Thank us you. about your next set. What are we going to hear next? Oh gosh, the next set. I had to look down for a minute and look at it. <laughs> um, we're going to do um, we're going to do a little bit of jazz. We're going to do a country song, and I, um, I like the mix. You know? Yes, yeah. I'm very eclectic. You know, I uh, you know obviously my dad had the country music going, but then my mother played everything from Elton John to Kenny Rogers, and so and we she were was just, very musical, right? Yes, yeah, very much. Was so. your dad too, or is most? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. My dad played guitar and sang. And, and, and they so. took you to Illinois growing up. Yes. How did you know I that? I do my research. <laughs> yeah, I only I have one job all day long oh, okay, is to get okay. ready for this. Yeah, I was I was blessed to uh, spend a year at the National Academy of Arts in Champaign, Illinois. And it was a music and dance school, kind of like if you ever watched Fame back in the day. It was kind of like that. We lived at the school and we practiced our art there. And, and yeah, so it was it was fantastic experience. So I went to Iowa State for broadcast camp. Oh, so there's a okay. camp for everybody, isn't yes, there? Yes. <laughs> All right, I'll tell you what, let's get a quick update on news. We'll be right back. More of the Julie Baker Quartet coming up on News Channel Nebraska. Well, this is how we celebrate election night on News Channel Nebraska, the right way with the Julie Baker Quartet. Thank you so much for watching News Channel Nebraska. A couple items, uh, house items, we call them. The first one is we need you to vote on those NCN tube videos. They're pretty funny. So after the show tonight or when you have a second, uh, go to our webpage at newschannelnebraska.com and look through those videos. Someone who sent us a video is going to win one thousand dollars that's pretty exciting the other thing we want to remind you is that shows like this happen because our viewers reach out they even in this case reached out to their good friend julie baker who ended up becoming a guest on the show which we appreciate this is what we need we need you to tell us what you want what you want to hear uh imagine trying to run the stereo for a thousand people you can never do a good job unless you find out what people want and we ask you to send us a letter. We'll talk about that coming up here in just a little bit. Julie, uh, we're gonna meet the band coming up here, but you have a song on your next set. 
a Patsy Cline song. We're yes. not going to do right away, but I think you're going to recognize it, and you're right. It's a country song that will endear you. There's only two artists that I think people for, uh, forget to get up during a break on, Elvis and Patsy Cline. Yes. Those I are agree. very popular artists with our viewers. Mm -hmm. So Wonderful. All right. All right, let's do this. You're watching News Channel Nebraska Quarantine Tonight, the Julie Baker Quartet live on NCN. What a day this has been. What a rare mood I'm in. Well, it's all like being in love there's a smile on my face for the whole human race well it's almost like being in love all the music of life seems to be like a bell that is ringing just for me I could swear I was falling. I could swear I was falling. Well, it's almost like being in seems to be like a bell that is ringing just for me and from the way that I feel when that bell starts to feel I could swear I was falling I could swear We hope you enjoyed that one, a little, little jazz tune there. Um, we're going to switch gears just a little bit, and this song probably needs no introduction. And uh, it's, I know it's very special to a lot of people. This is from The Wizard of Oz, and this is one called Over the Rainbow. When all the world is a hopeless jumble and the raindrops tumble on the round. Heaven opens a magic lane. When all the clouds darken up the sky, there's a rainbow highway to be found Leading from your window pane To a place beyond the sun Just 
just a step beyond the you did. Thank you so much. Over the Rainbow from The Wizard of Oz.
Everybody's favorite, I think. All right, so Mike did talk about the Patsy Cline song that we'd like to do for you at this time, and this is called Crazy, and I'm pretty sure that this one came over my dad's radio too as, we, <laughs> as I was growing up. Crazy, I'm crazy for feeling so lonely. I'm crazy, crazy for feeling so Yes, a little Patsy Klein for you there. All right, now we're going to go from Patsy Klein to Frank Sinatra. So how is that for a change, right? <laughs> we're going to go to the moon. See what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars. In other words, hold my hand. In other words, baby, kiss me. Fill my heart with song and let me sing forevermore. You i 
When we started this show, I made a point of saying this isn't the Kenny Senator, but my uh, our, our low budget show has gone high budget for tonight. <laughs> wow, you guys sound great. How often do you get to play together? Um, well, uh, we we actually Not just got enough. started. Yeah, we just actually got started. We just did an Ella Fitzgerald show at the Jewel in Omaha. It's a new new club that they have there, and um, then we got done with the Ella Fitzgerald show, and then. You know, COVID nineteen happened. So, how can people get your music? Um, well, I have a single out. Um, I have a website uh, where you can you can go and find out how to download it. It's um, www.julie-baker.com, um, and um, right there on screen. Yes, uh, thank you. And um, so, and I don't know. Do you guys have some recordings with? In, I, I wasn't sure if you guys did or not. Well, let's anyway, find but, out more. I'm going to show you how this works. This is my lav mic. I put this right here. <laughs> and then this is my microphone that I call the governor. And, oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> this is what I use uh, to do my social distancing on this show. Oh, I know gotcha. I'm taking a high budget uh, show and I'm using my <laughs> low budget uh, equipment, but uh, Doug Montera is here from Colorado Springs initially yes. uh, in the Air Force for 22 years performing for the United States Air Force troops, troops all over the country and the globe. All right? over the country, all over the world, yes. Wow, thank you for your service You're for welcome. doing that. You're welcome. Tell me what bases you were all at. Um, I started off my career at Langley Air Force Bla Base, that's in uh, Southern Virginia. And then I was at basically Ramstein Air Force Base in Germany. And I ended up here, uh, not here in Norfolk, but uh, down at Offit. Or you mean this undisclosed location? At the un oh, sorry, the undisclosed <laughs> yeah, location. Uh, very far from where I just said. Uh, <laughs> uh, at Offit Air Force Base outside of uh, Omaha is where I ended up. Well, this is a talent of yours. When did you learn how to play the drums like this? Ooh. Well, my dad was a high school band director. So uh, that seems pretty common. Yeah, yeah. So like I, I was tinkering around on drum sets when I was between five and eight years old and haven't stopped. The good news is after <laughs> retiring from the United States Air Force at office, you did off it. You decided to stay around Nebraska and uh, you're at on the faculty at UNO. I see you. Yes, I am. Um, if you're if you're getting a, a master's in jazz, you would be one of the professors there. Yes. yes. And uh, what else do you do? I uh, play with this group. Well, uh, I play with this group. I play at the Ozone also with the, the big band there, uh, different groups around Omaha. And I raise two kids. They're, they're in high school now, so <laughs> that's what not so much tough. raising anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Give them money and make sure their car yes, has gas. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. All right. Well, that's Doug Montero. We appreciate him very much. We're going to take a quick break. I'll put my uh, governor stick down there. And uh, coming up next in our next set, just another great round of music. I loved mm -hmm. Crazy, by the way. Thank you. Somewhere Over the Rainbow. You're just hitting all of them. We're what trying. We're trying. We just wanted to please people, you know, and just bring some, some, some joy, you know. And that's something I try to tell people. When you come on this show, I don't think I can understate this. Our viewers really appreciate you sharing your talents with everybody. There's people watching that, for all the right reasons, have been cooped up for 50 days, mm -hmm. and the walls are closing in, and yes. this is two hours of just freedom for a lot of people. So thank you so much for doing this. Well, we're, we're blessed to be a part of it. We're so so thankful that you asked us to come. So thank The you. only thing I was thinking, if your dad was listening to Glenn Campbell and uh, Patsy Cline, uh, you've got a little Anne Murray, too. Oh, sure. I cried a tear. Hey, that's what I've been waiting for. <laughs> and actually, Karen Kotrick that you mentioned, because you said that my music teacher was yeah. there. Yeah, I think that she had us sing that song in middle school, I think, or something. So we did a little Anne Murray. Would you like to come back Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday next week? <laughs> we'll get you a place to stay at this oh, undisclosed location. <laughs> Oh, I tell you what, let's do the mailbag real quick. We've got uh, a lot of mail that's coming in and really helps us to get that mail. If you could send us something, we'd love it. Uh, we won't read it on the air unless you give us permission. Uh, so if you don't want it read, just say that. But let's have the mail truck show up here and let's see what we have. Yep, that's me driving down this undisclosed location town that I'm in. Uh, this is from John in Omaha. Thanks for morning mass with Father Joe. I watch it every morning. Also like the 8 to 10 p.m. shows. Leo Lonnie is great. That's good. Uh, keep up the good work in these trying times. I'm 95 years old and a 67-year active member of the Knights of Columbus. Then they're lucky to have you, John. Thank you very much for watching from Omaha. 
Here's Bertie from Central City. Just want to tell you how much I love your channel, but especially Quarantine Tonight. They've been all great, but I especially like Lynn Dvorak, the Outback Band, and Friends and polka shows. Polka is really a great thing. Well, I'm glad you said that, Bertie, because tomorrow night, Angie Crete is coming back and the polka tunes. And Mike, your two boys are doing a good job. I'm also very thankful for the Daily Mass. This is wonderful. Keep up the good work. Thanks for your nice comment about these two young men. They are wearing out and ready for baseball. I tell you what, we've got another hour of music ahead. I invite you to send us a letter. Here's the address. We'll just put it up on the screen and I'll come back with it. 214 North 7th Street, Norfolk 68701. If you send us a note, it would mean the world. Thank you so much. And we'll be right back with more on Quarantine Tonight, brought to you by the University of Nebraska Medical Center right after this. All right, we're back on quarantine tonight with a very special performance tonight. Again, we're going to put that address up on the screen so you can write it down. Send us a note. We have a gem here tonight. The uh, Julie Baker Quartet is here. Julie, as we mentioned before, is from Erickson, went to Wheeler Central Schools. And we were just talking uh, during the break. You actually, I was asking you about the sale barn there in Erickson because yes. I know a lot of people take... Uh, or, you know, go there and buy. Right. Uh, yeah. And horses, too. Like, I, mm -hmm. I have a friend that uh, buys horses. Uh, but, Erickson, you actually were a waitress at the sale barn, your I, first job? I was. I was a waitress at the ranch cafe. It was my first job. I think I was 14. So you got to smell money every day. Oh, yes. It, yeah, it got to smell like money, <laughs> <laughs> I guess. And so after that, then, you went to the Hungry Horse. Then I waited tables at the Hungry Horse Saloon as well, yes. Oh, so my gosh. My, my two jobs in Erickson. So. You can't grow up in Erickson and not know about the Hungry Horse. No, no. And now would they give it a starving stallion? I mean, yes. there's all sorts. Actually, it's the wheelhouse now, though. It's changed. Oh, actually. okay. Yes. So, but it was a starving stallion for a while. So. Look at how we're just diving into the sand hills tonight yes, on yes, News Channel love Nebraska. It. And to your dad who's watching. Thank you very much for <laughs> joining us. I tell you what, the uh, Julie Baker Quartet continues here. This next set, there's a lot of songs in this one. There are, yes. Yeah, and we're, it's, a, it's a variety again, so we hope that we please a lot well, of Well, you're in luck. This is a variety show, so <laughs> we're ready for it. It's a uh, right. little bit after 9 o'clock. Thank you for joining us on this election night. A reminder, we have results. Uh, live coverage starts at 10. This is the Julie Baker Quartet on News Channel Nebraska. Johnny could only sing one note, and the note he sang was this. Oh, sing Johnny one note, sing out with gusto, and just overlorded the place. Poor Johnny one note yelled willy-nilly until he was blue in the face. For holding one note was his ace, couldn't hear the brass. Couldn't hear the drums He was in a class By himself by gum Poor Johnny One Note Sang in Aida Indeed a great chance to be brave He took his one note Out like the North Wind Put forth when it made critics rave For holding one note was his ace Couldn't hear the flute Or the big trombone Everyone was mute. Johnny stood alone. Cats and dogs stopped yapping. Lions in the zoo all were jealous of Johnny's big trill. Thunderclaps stopped clapping. Traffic ceased its roar. And they tell us Niagara stood still. He stopped the train whistles, boat whistles, steam whistles, cop whistles, all whistles bound to his skill. Sing Johnny one note, sing out with gusto and just overwhelm all the crowd. Oh. So sing Johnny one note out loud. Sing Johnny one note. Sing Johnny one note out loud. 
Johnny One Note, yes. And you know, that's a, that's a, show, a song that we did at the Ella Fitzgerald show. And I, I say this really, really quickly. I am a mu middle school choir teacher, so I have known quite a few Johnny One Notes. <laughs> so uh, we just thought it'd be fun to do that one. This next one is um, a song by just one of my most favorite vocalists um, of all time. Uh, this is a Whitney Houston song. I used to sing and practice this song with a hairbrush in my room in high school. So um, I'm really glad that I get to sing it for you tonight with a real microphone now. So <laughs> this is a Whitney Houston song called Saving All My Love For You. Being last on your list, but no other man's gonna do. So I'm saving all my love for you. It's not. Just break down and cry Cause I'd rather be whole than blue So I'm saving all my love for you You used to tell me We're gonna run away together Love you gives you the right to be free You said be patient Just wait a little longer But that's just an old fantasy I've got to get ready Just a few minutes more Gonna get that old feeling when you walk through that door Cause tonight is the night For feeling all right We'll be making love the whole night through So I'm saving all my love Yes, I'm saving all my love Yes, I'm saving Little Whitney Houston for you. All right, so this next song, I have a story. We did this at the Ella Fitzgerald Show because this one is all about Ella. 
In 1960, Ella Fitzgerald did a live show in Berlin, and she really wanted to do the song Mac the Knife. Now, she had never sung it before, and she was trying to memorize the words on the way to the concert. So she was a little nervous about it, and she started out the song fine, but then Ella forgot the words. But Ella Fitzgerald was a master at improv, and so even though Ella forgot the words, she ended up making up things that were pretty much almost better than the original. Also complete with that improv section, she did a Louis Armstrong Im impro um, imitation. And she and Lo Louis Armstrong were really, really good friends, so she loved to imitate him. So tonight we're going to do Mac the Knife, but we're gonna do it Ella style with the wrong words. Shows those pearly whites just a jackknife has McHeath dear, and he keeps it out of sight. Oh, when the shark bites with his teeth, dear, scarlet bellows start to spread fancy gloves though where's mckeith dear so there's not not a trace of red ah sunday sunday morning lies a body
right, Ella Fitzgerald, improving <laughs> Mac the Knife with a little bit of Louis Armstrong in there. All right, so I'm uh, now going to do uh, one more song before we have a break, and this is a Duke Ellington tune called Don't Get Around Much Anymore. Miss a Saturday dance Heard they crowded the floor Couldn't make it without you Don't get around much anymore Thought I'd visit the club Got as far as the door They had asked me about you Don't get around much anymore on days might have gone but what for awfully different without you don't get around much anymore <laughs> What for? Awfully different without you. Don't get around much anymore. Well, then there's that. Thank you very much. Boy, I tell you what, this is a beautiful night. And uh, how fitting that this is so relaxing and we're about to get election results. Isn't that nice? Oh, yes. You are the best lead into re election results any station has on television tonight, <laughs> national or local. Thank you so much for watching News Channel Nebraska. I'm your host, Mike Flood, on Quarantine Tonight. Uh, this is just a wonderful evening, and uh, thank you so much for everything you're doing. Now, i got to get my stick out here and uh, introduce myself to these two musicians over here. Um, hold on. Mark and Jennifer, right? All right. Hold on a second. <laughs> know if this will work so governor. I got to get the governor, the out. governor that's right that's you right. like the name of that microphone huh all right so something you need to know about Mark and Jennifer they uh, often perform also with Mannheim steamroller am I right on that or you have performed with Mannheim steamroller we have yeah we uh, we were um, invited to do the tour this uh, what would that be the 2019 yeah. Christmas tour it was the 35th anniversary of their Christmas album now, when I first saw him, I said, do you have to be tall to play that instrument? And he said, no, not necessarily. But it doesn't hurt. But it doesn't <laughs> hurt. How did you get into this? Well, um, actually, organic chemistry kind of forced me into it. Um, I had I'd gone off to college. I'd, I'd always been involved in music. I'd played violin and viola. Omaha uh, kid? Yeah, Omaha kid. Um, I like science a lot, too. I thought being a doctor would be, you know, nice, lucrative, etc. But um, I, I did two years of of uh, you know a science degree and I took organic chemistry and I'd bought an electric bass guitar and guess what it won it was a lot more fun to practice four hours a day than it was to 
you know, do organic chemistry four hours a day. I wouldn't so. get past chemistry, so you, that's just fine by me. You probably chose well for your health uh, long term. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So Mark Har, and then uh, in this band, you have a significant other, or I should say she has you. She, she definitely has me. So. And uh, Jennifer is over here. She's on this grand piano we get from Lutheran High Northeast, and wonderful job tonight. You Thank just you. get it done. So where did you start? You're from Omaha, too. Yes, um, and I'm from a family of musicians. My dad is a guitarist and arranger, and my mom's a piano teacher and an organist. So all of us grew up playing instruments and it just, just kept going. And uh, how long on the piano? Is that what you learned on? Well, I, yeah, I started on piano and I did violin and harp and oboe and everything in band and um, marching band orchestra. And you two Whatever. still live in Omaha? Yes, we live in Omaha. And how'd you meet this guy? Uh, he was playing in my dad's band. Oh, 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 oh so dad approved. I, <laughs> let's hope. <laughs> I spent 20 years. We're going to be married for 20 years this summer, so I oh, hope that he approves. Oh, that is great. <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming to this undisclosed location and yes. bringing your talents with you. You like that piano? Yeah, it's great. Isn't it yeah, something? it's really good. We're really proud of it here. It's, uh, it's, uh, it doesn't come with a place, but we got a really good deal on being able to use it thanks to the people at Lutheran High Northeast. All right, so I got to put this thing away, and uh, Julie, Julie, we appreciate you. Uh, tell us the last set here. What can we look forward to? Okay, well, we're going to do a patriotic tune, and we're going to do a, a Louis Armstrong tune, and then um, an Etta James. Boy, that voice that comes out during that. <laughs> that where does that come from? That's uh, You know, years of listening to just all kinds of different music and having lots of influences. So That's amazing. Well, we're going to hear Thank more you. of it coming right up. We're going to get a quick update on election results, and we'll be back with more on Quarantine Tonight, brought to you by the University of Nebraska Medical Center. You're watching News Channel Nebraska. Hey, everybody. Oh, welcome back to Quarantine Tonight on this very special election night. A reminder, we have live election coverage coming up at 10 o'clock tonight. We'll tell you who won and uh, what they're talking about across the state as 93 counties went to the polls or voted in advance. We have all the details with team coverage coming up at 10 o'clock tonight on News Channel Nebraska. Well, you've got to be good. My 10-year-old cameraman came up to me and said, Dad, we're going to have them back, aren't we? Oh, Which, thank you. He's never done that before, but uh, he, oh. uh, he, he has a, you know, you do this. I don't know how many shows we've had. Chad's here somewhere. We were just 35. Okay. This is our 35th show. Uh, we do one every single weeknight, and you are just great. Well, we appreciate it, it very much. It takes a lot to impress a 10-year-old, too. Yeah. Well, trust me. <laughs> You're competing with a lot of things in his brain right now. Uh, so, yeah, that is good. We're not letting him get his finger on the fog machine because that oh. turns into a whole deal. But, hey, Nebraska Arts Council has uh, got a hold of you, and uh, you're on their roster for the summer. We are, yes. Tell me what that means. Yeah, well, um, really, we offer a variety of groups. You know, it can be a... a uh, it could be just a duo, it could be a trio, it could be a quartet or eight-piece band, um, or we could go clear up to the 18-piece the big band. So if there are arts councils out there, um, you know, in the communities that want to hire us to do, you know, a performance for their community, we are on the Nebraska Arts Council roster. And you so can how get do they get a hold of you? Yeah, so we're on the website, um, and there's also um, grants that arts councils can apply for to help with the oh. cost of, you know, bringing the arts to Nebraska. Cause, um, because, you know, I know I grew up in a little small town, but when I was exposed to music Look and... Look at what happened. Yes, yes. So, you know, I think bringing the arts all over Nebraska is, is a great thing, and we're just really excited to be a part of it. So. Well, let's get that website back up there uh, just so that we can remind people how to get a hold of you. We'll, we'll uh, show that while you're singing, and okay. we'll enjoy more of the Julie... Yep, there it is, uh, the Julie Baker Quartet here on News Channel Nebraska. Thank you. Helpless as a kitten up a tree, and I feel I'm clinging to a cloud. I can't understand. 
I get misty when I'm holding your hand. Walk my way and a thousand violins begin to play. Or it might be the sound of your hello that music I hear, I get misty the moment you're near. You can say Thank you, a little, little misty there. Um, this next song that we'd like to do for you is a patriotic song called America the Beautiful. Um, I know we all know it. And we'd like to dedicate this to the men and women of our armed forces, but we would also like to um, just you know, send out a shout out and appreciation to all of the workers out there, the, the essential workers and the medical field and, and everybody that's just keeping everything going. Um, you know, people that go um, everywhere. I could go on and on, but if you're out there working and, and keeping things going, thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts. It means so much. I, I've never appreciated going to the grocery store and just getting food so much before. <laughs> so thank you for keeping us going, keeping us fed, and, and just everything that you're all doing. So this is for all of you.
Once again, thank you all out there for keeping us going out in America. Okay, and speaking of um, America and the world, uh, we're going to do a Louis Armstrong song uh, called What a Wonderful World. And I think that this, um, earlier when we had the, the, the prayer by P Pastor Wilkins, I know he mentioned, um, you know, just enjoying the simple things like the birds and the trees and just things in nature right now. Right now is a time where I know a lot of us are very still. And um, I think that we live in one of the most beautiful states in Nebraska. So uh, it's, a, it's just a, a time that we can appreciate just the little things like that. So we would like to do for you the song A Wonderful World and remind everybody that there are still a lot of wonderful things in the world right now today.
That turns our uh, quarantine tonight into a very classy nightclub tonight. We appreciate <laughs> that. This is just amazing how this sound comes out of just four people. Uh, the quartet really works. I can't imagine what it's like when you've got a whole big band. Yes, yes. This is pretty amazing. Uh, of all the different kinds of music that you played tonight, uh, obviously some jazz, some country, some patriotic, what would be the, the genre that you identify with the most? Oh, goodness, that I identify with the or most. Or that you goodness. enjoy the most. Um, you know, I, that is really difficult because, I, you know, I do everything from classical to, you know, every, everything. Um, but right now, I'm kind of in a jazz mode right now. I really do love love jazz and, and and of course like I said I'm singing with a big band and, and that's always been my dream to sing be a big band singer so that's what I'm doing right that now. That was your dream. Yeah well that's one of them I have several. But she was telling me she grew up in Erickson uh, in your room you had pictures of New York City. I did yes I you know here I am I lived in a town of a hundred people but I wanted to live in New York City and I did my sister went and lived in New York City for 15 years and married a, a boy from Brooklyn but I never got to go but that's what I wanted to do. You visited so quite a bit I I'm did sure. visit yes. Yes. And then you get to Omaha and you think about the sand hills and you're like, wow. Yes, yeah. You know, it's amazing when you grow up somewhere. And I mean, I always loved it. I knew it was beautiful. But when you leave and you start thinking about it, you realize, wow, I really grew up in a very special and unique place. And There's and no place like it. No, no, there really isn't. I, I think it's one of the most beautiful places in the world. And you know, that's do. something when I, uh, a couple years ago, I, would, uh, I was the MC of the Cattleman's Ball in mm, Lynch, Nebraska. Yes. And so I left my... Uh, undisclosed location and I was driving up Highway 12 uh, through Knox County and I kind of hit some of those hills on my way over to Lynch and I was like this is the unspoken beauty of the state mm -hmm. and it's it's sad that not all Nebraskans get to experience that no if you don't get off I-80 you're not going to see it really so, yeah yes. Oh, yeah. No, I totally agree. There's another stretch of road. I don't know if anybody here has ever driven it. It's Highway 2 from Broken Bow to Alliance. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That is uh, an amazing part of our state. Yeah. We're going to take a quick break. We've got more coming up on our way to election coverage live at 10 o'clock tonight. We'll get all the results from team coverage across the state. We've got reporters in a lot of different places ready to bring you the latest updates on the Nebraska primary election. But more quarantine tonight right after this. This is a big night for quarantine tonight. Really enjoying the Julie Baker Quartet. You've got one more song. Yes. Tell me about it before yes. it begins. Well, this is this is kind of a favorite of a lot of people. So we said we have to do this song. So this is an Etta James tune. Oh, my uh, God. Yes, called At Last. And uh, so, yeah, we, we always usually end with this one. Well, thank you, Julie Baker, the quartet here. They came to this location from Omaha, and they have just blown our socks off with the, what a good performance so let's enjoy this and we'll wrap things up on news channel nebraska all right thank you and i just have to do one shout out before we we do this song um my better half the love of my life is home uh social distancing that's why he isn't here tonight so i have to dedicate him this to him del levy this one is for you at last
So classy. This whole night has just been wonderful. Thank you very much. Uh, this is the Julie Baker Quartet. Now, uh, people are going to be watching. They're going to be watching the replay of this. They're going to be asking us, how do I go see them in person? Where does this happen? Well, um, you will. F you can find us, um, I mean, on my website. It will be there for future performances. And we'll and put that up on screen right yes, now. Yes, yeah. So just go to the website, and we will have those there. And um, like I said, I'm with the big band once a month, and then, you know, we're hoping to do more. With the COVID-19, we're kind of 
you know, at a, well, at a little standstill right now, but we hope once things get back to you normal. You know the secret location, and That's we right. do this nightly, so you might imagine there we could probably find a way to make <laughs> this happen. We would be okay with that. We would totally be okay with that. By the way, a B and b your family starting uh, one in Erickson, Nebraska. Yes, yes. So um, if you want to come out to the Sand Hills in the fall, um, the house that I grew up in, we are remodeling it, and we're getting it all pulled together. So I know I've talked about the Sand Hills a lot, so if you want to come out and visit... Um, we would love to have guests come and just enjoy the sand hills and the beauty and the peace of it, you know, and the way that we have. Peace so. until we bring our tribe. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Be careful what you ask for. <laughs> hey, it's 10 o'clock. You're watching News Channel Nebraska's Quarantine Tonight. It's time now to get those primary election results. Thank you again to the, you uh, this group tonight. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow night. It's news time at News Channel Nebraska.